Welcome to Sundays and Seasons On Demand Training. You have chosen the module entitled SundaysandSeasons.com Homepage Overview, the first video from the website Basics series. While many new users are tempted to jump right into the Worship Planner, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the homepage, especially since you can set up portions of this page in ways that can make your worship planning even more productive. We are about to go live onto SundaysandSeasons.com where I'll show you what I mean. Even though the home page will look slightly different from week to week, as it always relates to the upcoming Sunday's festivals and commemorations, you know you are on the home page when you see the four key elements that we'll be covering in this overview, namely the dynamic lectionary banner and calendar, the day texts and day resources content areas, the subscriber news, and the user content area found on the bottom of the home page. As we move through each of these four key sections, I'll provide a demonstration of the interactive tools and links that are related to the home page. When I think of SundaysAndSeasons.com, two words come to mind, content and functionality. Just clicking through the library, music, visuals, and the optional preaching tabs reveals just how much digital content has been loaded into SundaysAndSeasons.com. All of it searchable and much of it dynamically oriented to each Sunday festival and commemoration of the revised Common Lectionaries Church Year Calendar. On every SundaysAndSeasons.com homepage, you find what we call the lectionary banner. From right to left, this green header contains a scrolling set of clip art visuals appropriate to the Sunday festival or commemoration designated in the center of the lectionary banner. In honor of Reformation 500, I've chosen to set the home page to content related to Reformation Sunday. Immediately underneath the designation of the calendar date and lectionary day, you find the Quick Start Planet button, which allows you to proceed directly into the Worship Planner. To the left of the day's designation, our web designers have placed the interactive lectionary banner calendar. This calendar dynamically controls the day the home page is set to and the site's lectionary content for that day, including content under the music, visuals, and the optional preaching tab. Gray circles around dates indicate that it has user-generated content, such as the Reformation service I've begun to plan for this demonstration and a wedding service I've created for October 15th. A green circle date indicates the current date in the calendar year. Hyperlinks to additional content in Sundays and Seasons appear in a blue font. At the bottom of the liturgical banner calendar, for example, you see a View Larger Calendar link. This link takes you to an entire page devoted to the Sundays and Seasons calendar. You can choose to set this calendar to display in day, week, or entire month formats. On this banner calendar, you can easily find your worship plans, as well as iconographic links to day texts and resources, music, preaching, and visuals content. Hovering over these icons with your cursor reveals what they point to. One of the special features of this larger calendar is the ability to create a local calendar for your custom use. Clicking the SundaysAndSeasons.com logo in the upper left takes you right back to the home page. Returning to the Sundays and Seasons home page, please note that the upcoming Sundays festivals and commemorations are found in the left-hand sidebar, as well as those same iconographic links to associated content that I mentioned just a bit ago. Beneath the liturgical banner in the main column of the home page, you will find the four major sets of content. Day text is where you find all the text-based liturgical content specifically associated with the day designated in the lectionary banner. Day resources is where you find additional commentary on that day and its text, creative ideas for observing the day, and even content that could be used for children's messages, church decorating, and events. Let me show you what I mean. By clicking on the link, read in full, I find an entire page devoted to the day resources associated to Reformation Sunday. I particularly appreciate the illustration 
that speaks about how the word grace is translated in countries around the world. I also enjoyed seeing the themes for the decades leading up to our celebration of the 2017 500th anniversary of the Reformation. Now let's check the day text for Reformation Sunday. Note the hyperlink, Download This Content, which appears here and under Day Resources. In fact, this function is found on numerous pages of SundaysAndSeasons.com, allowing users to download all the resources found on each of those pages into their computers with one click. Day texts represent all the liturgical content associated with this Sunday. We find all the text contained in the annual print version of Sundays and Seasons, including the seasonal worship text for autumn, Sunday texts related to the Reformation. Here also you can see that the scriptures are hyperlinked so that you can instantly refer to them. I'm going to click on the SundaysAndSeasons.com logo once more. We're back on the home page, so we can note two other key content areas. Subscriber news. In subscriber news, you'll read postings from the SundaysAndSeasons.com team about new content uploads, new features, answers to FAQs, and other important site announcements. And finally, near the bottom of the home page, is where you find the user content area, your collections of local worship plans, worship templates, and custom texts. Click on the tabs of each content area to change the list you wish to see. The active tab will light up in green. Under each of the worship plans, templates, and custom text tabs, you'll also find the icons for tools to help you manage these files. The assortment of tools varies under each of these three tabs. They also become active only when relevant. Blue color means the tool can be used. Gray means you can't use that tool. The icons and functions of these tool sets include the plus tool, which allows you to add new content to each of these areas, a pencil tool, which allows you to edit existing content, there's an inbox tool that allows you to download checked items right into your computer, and a trash can that allows you to delete those checked items. Under the worship template and custom text tabs, you'll also find tools to create file folders to organize your local content, and an A to Z tool that sorts your templates and custom text alphabetically. Select a checkbox by the item you wish to apply any of these actions, then click the tool to make it work on that item. One of the most powerful features of the SundaysAndSeasons.com homepage is your ability to create custom texts that are accessible in the planner. Many congregations have local content that they use repeatedly. Seasonal rituals such as the lighting of an advent wreath, congregational greetings and prayers, instructions for exchanging the peace or communion distribution. This often used content can be created and saved in folders by way of the custom text editor. The planner has the ability to access the custom text folders you create and to insert your desired content exactly where you want it to appear in your worship plan. For more on this process, please be sure to check out the SundaysAndSeasons.com on-demand training modules related to the planner. Thank you for viewing the SundaysAndSeasons.com on-demand training video in the Website Basics series, entitled Homepage Overview. Be sure to download the documents associated with this video from the document download link beneath the video in the training module. Do peruse the other modules as well. And as always, you can experience live training via a SundaysAndSeasons.com webinar. It's our goal to help you get the most out of your subscription to SundaysAndSeasons.com.